Hello and welcome to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show in which I, Reynard Wilson, attempt to explain just what the hell is going on in the fruity little brain of one man. His name is Mark Steele and he's often described as Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist because he comes up with some of the zaniest things you'll ever hear anybody say, ever. And today's show is about Mark's newest obsession. Every effective conspiracy grifter knows that in order to make money, you need to scam people's fears. You need to make people afraid of something and then sell them a solution. That's what Mark has always done, whether it was COVID or vaccines or 5G. It's really always the same pattern. And just as interest in COVID and vaccines is dying down, we can see Mark taking on a new grift. It's really a way of testing the water to see if his new patter can attract an audience. The subject this time is the ULES, and that's short for Ultra Low Emission Zone. It's a scheme that operates in eight cities in the United Kingdom, including the one where Mark still lives, that's uh, Newcastle and Gateshead. The Ultra Low Emission Zone is a scheme to prevent people from driving the most polluting vehicles on the streets of certain cities. So if you have a, a stinky old diesel van, you're going to have to pay a, a surcharge of, of maybe 12 to 20 pounds every day if you want to drive through one of those cities. And that seems like a, a harmless and, and maybe even sensible idea because we're all going to be breathing better air. But uh, Mark Steele would like to change your mind about that. Mark Steele has some completely different ideas. So people tell me things like the ULES camera, it's a camera. The camera is a fusion, illegal, urban radar type battlefield derived weapon. It's a weapon system. It's easy to see how Mark Steele's conspiracy grift is evolving. Back in the day, he told us that lamp posts were the things that were going to kill us. Lamp posts, he said, were a weapon. Next, it was 5G. 5G, apparently, according to Mark Steele, is a weapon. Then when COVID came along and we all became upset about being made to stay indoors, he told us that COVID-19 and then also the vaccine, which was intended to prevent COVID-19, well, they were both weapons too, according to Mark Steele. And now we have this new thing come along, the ULES, the, the system that seeks to prevent people who have older polluting vehicles. It, it has a, a network of cameras that are connected to computers to recognize license plates. Well, apparently those cameras aren't just cameras. They too are a weapon. The commie bullet, I haven't got time. I haven't got time to converse with fools, all right? Well, unfortunately, I'll tell you once that it isn't. And if you start your daft antics, then unfortunately you're going to get deleted. And this is also very standard stuff for a conspiracy grifter. He's basically saying that he's not going to get into arguments because arguments don't pay. When you're a conspiracy grifter, your business is fear scamming. The more people you can make afraid, the more people you can sell a solution. So. If you're talking to people who aren't afraid or disagree with you, or you're just wasting your time, you're not going to make people like MC Toon afraid of lampposts. So why bother even talking to him? He's not going to be one of your marks. Shot. I've seen a really interesting video the other day. I need more people to test this. I've already got some people looking at it, where they had a the mobile phone app, you know, for scanning the barcode type thing. And they were locating the uh, the the antenna in the injection site, and then offering up their scanners from their mobile devices, and the mobile device was actually giving them an IP address. Okay. I included this one just for fun. It, it shows just how confused Mark Steele is. But this works at the same level as one of those Nigerian 419 scams. To be a truly effective scam. It doesn't actually have to make much sense. In fact, it's better sometimes if it doesn't make sense because all those people who think they're too clever to believe that kind of nonsense, the people who know what an IP address really is and why it doesn't make sense for a purely optical camera app to be able to detect 
some kind of RFID chip, even if one actually did exist under your skin, well, they're going to immediately turn off and they're going to exclude themselves from this conversation. And what that means is Mark has concentrated the level of idiocy in his audience and he's talking almost exclusively to people with even less scientific and technical knowledge than he has. And that means he is better positioned to make money from this audience. It's a really clever conspiracy scammer strategy. I've got no doubt that that very, very sophisticated piece of hardware will be there to analyze whether you've actually had the shot. You know that the shot had luciferin in it, or a great deal of them did. And the infrared element of that of that uh, fusion technology will be able to identify you in your car as you travel past to see if you are compliant with the vaccine. And however crazy that sounds, that's going to be sufficient to make one or two people in Mark's audience, somebody watching that video, is going to become afraid of these ULES cameras. And, well, some of them will commit acts of sabotage, damaging the cameras, which I think Mark is pretty cool with. But what Mark really wants is for people to subscribe to Save Us Now, to buy his merch and, and make him just a little bit richer. That's how conspiracy fear scamming works. He creates that fear and then he can sell those products. Any questions? Anybody? Yes, Gia? Oh, mate, just a quick one. I've heard that uh, people have been taking these ULES cameras out with lasers. What sort of laser would you need if, it, if it's possible? Uh, right. High-powered lasers will most certainly damage the uh, internals, the damage the internals of those uh, cameras. No two ways about it. How successful they are, you'd have to really speak to Siemens. <laughs> That's the appeal to tell you how much damage they're causing. <laughs> Mark clearly doesn't know anything at all about lasers, at least nothing more than the average Star Wars fan would know. But he's been put on the spot by this chap, Jay. And Jay perhaps looks up to Mark. Jay is, is obviously one of the simpletons, one of the, the gullible nitwits in Mark Steele's audience. Which is why Jay thinks that Mark Steele will be able to answer his specific question. But, but look at how Mark actually responds. He, he's saying that it definitely will disable a camera, but it probably might not. You see, he's got himself on both sides of the answer, which is pretty safe territory when you're out to ensure that you won't later be proved wrong. Do us a favour. Um, any, you know, with these lasers, would you be able to put any specs up or anything like that, you know, for what we'd need to actually get to actually take them out? The spec on, I, I think you can get very powerful. There's all different types of powerful lasers, but you see, I don't know how successful they are. Uh, you, like I said, the only people that will be able to tell you how that, well, I think if there's an online system which shows that they're working and you can see them not working, then you'll be able to work out if they, if, 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 if they don't work. And Mark obviously doesn't know anything at all about how the ULES cameras work. Because if, as Mark Steele was suggesting, there's some kind of online system you can consult that tells you where the cameras are and whether they were working or not, then people would probably use that information to abuse the system. Uh, that doesn't exist. That's a crazy thing that Mark Steele has just invented to avoid answering Jay's question. And in doing so, he's come up with a far more bizarre answer that Jay doesn't seem to have noticed though, because Jay is a nitwit. Jay's one of those very gullible people that Mark Steele has to surround himself with because anybody more inquisitive than Jay is going to cause Mark Steele a bit of a problem. There's one of the lads not far from me. Right. He was shimmying up the uh, up the lights and basically ripping the transmitters off the top. Okay. I think we can take that as a confession that Mark Steele has been encouraging some of the Gateshead and Newcastle locals to start vandalising ULES cameras. Uh, but it's not a, a Gateshead and Newcastle phenomena. H here's one of uh, Mark Steele's friends, a chap called Brian Jones, and Mark reposted Brian's video, which was basically a confession that Brian Jones has been climbing up the masts and, and using a, a, an electric drill and, and a hex bit to disconnect and, and then steal the ULES cameras. Mark thinks that's very cool, and Mark is clearly encouraging this kind of vandalism. This is what one man can do to the ULEZ. 
in less than half a day. I'm going to guess that Brian Jones is somebody who's been sabotaging ULEZ cameras in the London area. At least that sounds like a London accent to me. But Mark Steele seems to know an awful lot about the people who are vandalising not just the cameras, but also the, the cabinets and wiring systems for the Newcastle ULEZ. So what they started doing, they just started going into the box, knocking all the electrical equipment out, and then backfilling them with concrete. So they had to pull, they had to dig the whole road up, try to blame me. I mean, I said to the judge, I'm not a builder. I don't know about concrete. I say, I know about the weapon system, but I don't know about the concrete. Anyway, that didn't go down very well. Uh... I'm sure that didn't go down very well at all. Uh, Mark Steele's antics, I I'm certain, would be utterly infuriating to, to any judge because he's a very annoying person who talks absolute nonsense. <laughs> Hasn't it been another wild ride? We've learned so much about Mark's paranoid theories about the ultra-low emission zone, and particularly its cameras. We've learned that Mark thinks that ULEZ cameras are actually a complex multi-mode defense system, just as he previously stated that other things that weren't weapons were actually weapons. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? I wonder what else Mark Steele will come out and claim is a weapon. We've also learned about Mark Steele's attitude towards dissenting views. The short version is, he just doesn't like them. And if you disagree with Mark online, he will delete your comment. And the most valuable thing I think we've learned is that Mark Steele and his friends are actively involved in the destruction of public property because their paranoid beliefs that ULEZ cameras cause diseases or whatever, I don't know what they actually believe these things are, they don't want us to breathe clean air, and they would much rather get their kicks by destroying public property than allow us to breathe freely now and again. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for, for being such a damn hero. Anyway, that's it. That's it from me. We've learned so much, and I'll be back in a week's time to talk to you some more about Britain's most wacky, most ludicrous, most zany conspiracy theorist, our man, Marky Boy. See you later.